The Bameliki people from the western region of Cameroon are now settled in many other areas and regions within the national territory of Cameroon and even abroad. But like the first culture of the Bamiliki people, they first settled in the western region of Cameroon before gradually migrating to the different areas in which they now claim and live their fundamentals. Like the people of Bafusa, the Fosab, they are settled in the urban city of Bafusam town and speak the Bamiliki dialect. These people originated from the Tikaris and moved through the Nile River, Chad, Sudan, later through Adamawa region and finally settled here in the place which is today known and called Bafusam in the western region of Cameroon. The tribes in the Bamliki lineage include the Bafusam people, the Banjuns, the Balengs, the Balingums, the Mbundas, Bamuns and the Bangantes. Unlike the seven calendar days of a week, the Fosabs, Bafusam indigenes, have eight calendar days, and each day has significance with an activity reserved for it. Namely, Lapfo. It is the day that the king judges his people. Shinku. A sacred day which the princess and their servants meet. And on this day, all animation and lamentation activities are restricted within the clan. Nzenze is a day for joy and merrymaking. Tamze, a day of remembrance of the passed away kings or forms. A day when the old forms kings men meet to deliberate. Shenshu, a day when indigents and the palace people gather at a particular venue to expose their artworks for people to buy, as well as newly initiated young men into manhood are presented to the notables and to their families. Ngosa, a special day whereby the service men of the fawn go to the bushes to fetch firewood for him, and this day is reserved for the Nyang Nyang dance where the public gathers at the palace plaza to watch these dance, otherwise called the Nikian dance. Zemte is a day that the king orders the lockup of all routes to the market for cultural sacrificial reasons. Zelong is a day being celebrated as a reconciliation day between the fawn of Bafusa and the fawn of Balen when they signed an oath of friendship after long periods of war between the two villages. Today, it is the responsibility of every villager of Bafusa clan to continuously and judiciously preserve these rich cultural values. We drove down the line to examine what the Nyang Nyang thanks, which has been a cultural ritual 
that has existed for more than 800 years still holds in the minds of the people of Bafusam in terms of its cultural value. His Majesty von Njitak Ngumpe Pele is the 97th king in the lineage of the dynasty of Bafusam. He recalls. No, if you call us fan for uh, it's the same thing, our king. You know, we are in the Bamileke uh, traditions. Uh, our kingdom have begun, to, they are more than 800 years old. That means it is not today that uh, we give uh, an title for the kingdom. We know that we call in any time for fun king. You know, it's uh, so a word coming uh, outside. And you know that uh, since the 23rd of uh, November up to the 8th of March, every eight days in the palace we have a very special uh, cultural activity that we should end uh, on tomorrow. Before the D-Day of the Nyang Nyang dance, some preparations go on. First, the ceremonial ground must be well arranged. Meetings held with the fund, as well as elites who flood in with gifts and drinks for the fund to entertain the large number of guests expected to grace this once in a lifetime cultural manifestation of young boys of Bafus and Brie. With the degree of expectation in the minds of all, the Nyang Nyang festival dance can be considered of economic importance and of rich touristic value. We wish to associate the professionalization in the organization of this ceremony, which to me merits to be registered in the cultural rendezvous calendar of the Republic of Cameroon. Come to think of the real meaning of the Nyang Nyang dance. All the generation have to be initiated. We have to initiate the young people who have six up to fifteen years old to our own traditions. And that's what every eight month, every eight days in the grandstand of the palace they have to come to let the public know that they are already initiated and they, uh, they they can be considered now as a, a man in our own tradition. You know, uh, at that special uh, initiation, they have to take more than eight days' time to some place where the elder try to teach as a teacher uh, them how do the tradition uh, function and uh, what notion they need to know before growth. And uh, after uh, that period, they should go out, let any people know that uh, they are already being initiated. And you know, it is a very uh, secret ritual that every people, if you want to be concerned, you should come to the, these uh, traditions. And then after uh, the initiation, you can know precisely what is initiated. But, I can say that it is to give them some uh, notion like courage, like dynamism, like uh, know that we have a cultural identity that we, we need to defend. Initiating a youth means giving him a philosophy of life. It inculcates in a youth the spirit of self-respect of himself and his culture patriotism, solidarity, and a mastery of his own personal strengths. This culture of social inclusion of youths, the Nyang Nyang, existed and was practiced in the Tikas, 
where the Bafusan people originated. Following conflicts of succession, the people moved and settled in today's Bafusan clan and declared public the Nyang Nyang initiation ceremony. This ritual is not only for indigents of Bafusan, but for all who abide to the sacrificial principles. You know, up to now, this edition, we have more than five people coming through all, all the trap in Cameroon. This remains a proof of hospitality and legendary of the Fosab people. If you see tomorrow, you will see that all the elite of uh, Bafusam should be there because it's a very great moment for us. And uh, I will just tell you that, uh, you know, since we begin uh, those uh, activity, it should continue. We have taken four more times. Every people have to participate. If you are elites and noble, you should participate. If you are noble also, you have to do your duty. We are in a very organized society and everybody know what he should do. The African culture, too, has an influence on this phenomenon. You know, we consider women as a part of uh, our own society. Uh, that means we have to work with partnership with them. And that's what I cannot tell you that uh, there are some, uh, some uh, things in our own society who have to... Who violent the uh, women and but we as a traditional ruler we have done our best so that uh, they should not be very those uh, rituals should not be very hard uh, for the women before the start of the dance all the invited guests are served with variety of dishes of cameroonian feast and after the reception party the guest together with Bafu some elites from without the village move to the palace plaza to witness the Nyang Nyang dance. This is a moment that all La Sandri watch with impunity. A sacrificial dance that is danced only by a selected few. Its costume is exemplarily unique. The garments are a call for the eyes of the beholder. You know, you will see the traditional costume. It's a very great uh, moment for the culture of Bamili people in general, but in Bafusam in particular, because the things you will see are things you will tell me after if you always see such a thing here in uh, Cameroon in general. As they burst out from a hidden cubicle, a sacred shrine, the order of their appearance follows the particular order in which these men are initiated into the different sacred societies of the Fosab, the Bafusan people. There exist 15 different sacred societies within the Fasab culture, constituted of prince and their servants, all headed by its founders. They all are directed under the tutelage of the form who controls and directs them. He is the one who decides the order in which the members come out to dance the Nyang Nyang. Before the start of the dance, some blood must be sprinkled in order to cleanse the dance way and also appease the gods of Nikien, the Nyang Nyang. Thereafter, each group or member of particular sacred societies cropped out and lead the dance. It is an endless train of dancers 
for culture never ends. When the first set of dancers must have gone round the rostrum, finding it safe for the fun to emerge, they notify the king, who then carries the throne out for the final blessings. The dance has just begun. The king is here at last. What a prestige to see an African king Thanks. There is a standing ovation. This is the real moment of the Nyang Nyang dance. All eyes, faces, and mouths abound speak one language. There is happiness and joy. Other invited forms watch with dexterity. On the trees too can be seen the enthusiastic youths who watch with anxiety thinking of that day when they too shall be initiated. Everyone bows to the king as he dance pass. He must bear the burden of his throne as he paid the price for the sake of his people. He must carry the throne in pains though full of joy. This is the second and last stage of the dance. For a young boy growing up in his early teens, he must be initiated into his manhood through the Nyang Nyang or Nikien dance. This dance comes up every two years in the Bafusam clan and it takes four months of intense training before these young men are finally initiated and allowed to dance the Nyang Nyang. 
this is a time for all sons and daughters of Bafusam to return home. Be it for reconciliation with one another, unification as a united force of Bafusam origin. It is really a moment to gain back the steam of patriotism. A moment to meet old and new friends, as well as concrete new relationships for the growth and interest of the Fosab people, the people of Bafosa. Nevertheless, like in the Sawa land in Duwala, the Ngembas in Bamenda, and the houses in the northern parts, the Nyang Nyang festival is the time to distinguish between the Bafusam culture and that of other tribes within Cameroon. As our cultures grew, each traditional leader has as responsibility to preserve his cultural values so that this heritage is preserved for our children and children's children through our government structures, the Ministry of Culture. And I think that for the first time we have uh, see a Ministry of Cultural come in and be a partnership of our own culture. Since more than two, 20 years old, I'm in Tron, we never have those uh, chances. The Nyang Nyang ceremony is a ritual festival, and the Bafusan people have other cultural festivals which they showcase their richness in terms of art and antiquities. Everyone in the Bafusan clan has a reason for being part of this event. Their expectations are enormous. Like the previous years, many would wish that this festival be a period for every son and daughter of Bafusan to remobilize their efforts towards development of the clan. Others say peace and unity should reign in the country and amongst our leaders, as well as frankness, social dialogue, responsible citizenship, and at most, particularity is the preservation of their rich cultural values and patrimony. By and large, Nyang Nyang has come to stay. Culture is what we have, and culture is what we live. But before this, we can organize uh, many types of ceremony, which is not uh, ritual, uh, which is not... Uh, you know, even we were trying to put in place a cultural fe festival, because this one is a ritual festival, and a cultural festival means to left all the things we have in the kingdom be known by all people who live here in Bafusa. 